Welcome back, one and all, to Killer Frequency. I'm your host here, Daddy No Neck, and we're going to get back right where we left off. We had just finished uh, Maurice's call, and he unfortunately got killed because I fucked up a little bit. Yeah, so uh, I almost had it. Um, let's just get right back into it. As you can see, I noticed you can see my playtime here. Had an hour and three minutes already. Let's just hit resume, get right back up in this thing. All right, shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. That's fucked up. Let's say oh, that's that okay, one. Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You are. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well... My folks went the same way as yours. Oh. Oh, Jesus. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. Peg. I'm sorry. I'm Peg. defensive about that name. Some weird nickname. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad... Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Dude, really? no, I think someone that needs our help. Maybe. No. You want to go check it out? Me? I don't want to go check you that shit out. Sure, you don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight. Are you here. lucky? I'll pass fucker. you the key to the stairs. I hate you. Uh, Understood. I hate you. I'm on it now. Uh, the buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Yeah, I'll try not to be fucking shanked. Okay. I'm not opening Down this to the door. first floor, then check the door. Wait, how do is it? I think this is the stairs. Ah, oh shit! Is this roof access? And it's locked, of course. And then this. Oh, this is cool. Oh, another transition. Transistor radio, ain't that what they called? And interact with a lot of stuff. Oh, wait. Tape. Play, Play me on, on air. Air. What the fuck is back here? We're not gonna take in that into consideration, but uh, yeah, this is "Play Me on Air." That's weird. Um. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play, play me, me on, on air. air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? Fuck was that? I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. 
Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how the killer could get from the newspaper to KFAM so quick, but... Be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. Oh, I was about to play music. It's 1 a.m., dog. 1 a.m. We have made it to the next hour. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Oh, God. Or is... What do you mean more to do? friends. I love Roddy. I will always find you was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god. I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. Oh god. I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well... If that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Okay. Wow. Ah. Sorry about that. Which is a little, uh, cranky. I'm trying to get up on recording, so I'm, just put, I'm not just posting random, so, uh... Yeah. That does require me to record in, you know, in row, and my voice gets a little, uh, harsh. What? Oh my god, that is fucking cool, bro. That is so dog. That is nice. That's a nice little touch. Oh, what is that? That doesn't seem like it's going Of course she has cats, bro. Needs a key. Huh, is there a key... On a key ring? It's supposed to be down here. Oh wait, right there it is. This must be it. Final breath. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. Yeah, that's a shocker. That tells me eventually the killer's gonna make his way into here and we're gonna have to run for it, bro. Let's see. Hey, 
Hey, did you get it? Got yep. it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Ah. Oh. Ah, uh, fucking producers like that, dude. Annoying. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. I'm Peggy, gonna jump out that window. Just through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh shoot! I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I of really hope it's nothing do. serious. Me too. Yellow. When you're ready, shut the music off. Ah, forgot about caller. that. This is Forrest Nash. Host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 standing. London. This is Murphy! <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got boy. for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. He's free today. Okay. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. That's nice. I've learned how to live, how to laugh. Most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, dog. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Ruben, come face me, a true warrior. At the gallows waste disposal plant. Guess what? This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got Jesus, all the man. Talk about Batman. Robbins, no Joe series. Huh. So get ready, whistling man. DJ. You just let loose the junkyard dog. Okay, now. Oh, no. He's going to get fucking <sighs> shanked. And there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he, will he be dead. tries to become our hometown hero. <sighs> Poor anyway, Murphy. we'll be right back after this commercial. Okay. Wait after a commercial. Time to play a commercial. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. God. Teddy Gallows he Jr. Wants to run is for Gallows Creek. Politician, boys. Like his Politician. Father and all his fathers before him. Teddy Gallows Jr. has my shit, hard boy, to create man. jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. Okay, lives in Gallows now. Creek. He's our neighbor, oh. and yeah. he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. He's dead now. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. God, ah. what a jackass. 100% grade A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No. Just the one. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to the show. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. 
That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Nah. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. We got a caller. You know what to do. Hello, caller. You're live yep, you on the screen live on the with air. me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> oh, that's not good. Who's there? Who's there? Who is this? <sighs> Are you okay? Uh -oh. Do you need help? This Forrest? isn't good. He called me. That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me. Oh, Jesus. Shit. Okay, listen, caller, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them? Uh, sure. Okay. Sort of. Some of them. Okay. We gotta help you. The last guy. Can you tell me your name, dead. caller? I'm Dr. Sullivan of uh, Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. And you... Call a neighbor. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. There's just a fraternity down the street. Yeah. You live by a frat house. Virginia. Not sure what's the could name be. of the frat? It's oh god, I can't think. I, I can't. Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know. But wait, the takeout. What? If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. I can't the pizza do this. place. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Peggy, what places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Yeah, this is where the maps don't come in handy. Uh, well, can we mark them? There's the barbecue place, grilling spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Ponty's Pizza. That's it, I think. Uh, I guess we get calling. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys order from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Better get to it. Well, let's not waste any time then. That's the spirit. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Okay. Thanks, Peggy. We'll check out the offices. First, God, where to start? That's somewhere, and then we'll what go would make downstairs. me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? Probably a pizza place. I mean, like, come have on. a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... Uh... Chad or Brad. I just have to look around. His name is Chad or Brad. Go Gallows High, I guess. Yeah. I thought there might be something... About you know food. Ah, uh, chalupa cabra. Hmm. So that's so. The hundredth time it's on uh, uh, people. Okay. Um. Maybe call that place. I honestly don't know. Let's check downstairs. Oh wait. Police often stickers on officer furniture. Uh, just furniture, stickers. Let's try going downstairs to the uh, kitchen. 
which I assume is that door. Oh, bro, it's fucking nasty down here. I don't like it down here. I don't like this. This isn't fucking beer and milk. <laughs> what the hell is this place? Uh, oh wait, hot pizza. Into trash. This is a new low. Ah, Ooh. one free beer. Interesting offer. I'm thinking pizza place now. Uh, yeah, let's go back up and get beer. Come back tomorrow. Okay. So I think it's uh pointy or potty pizza. I don't know if I'm gonna need I'm gonna bring a pizza box just in case. But yeah, she said the yard was littered with cans, so Can we head outside. No. Just curious. Uh let's see here. Yeah, one free beer. Find anything useful? Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? Call the pizza. Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Monty's Pizza! May I take your order? Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, may I take your order? Oh, man. I got a frat to feed. So give me that slow roast pizza. Oh, a fine choice. But that will take three hours. You sure? Three hours. Never mind, just give me the garlic bread. Can do. Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans of Ponty's Pizza, you know. I should really call them and let them know. And now we wait. Yep. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Let's see, what's one that we haven't played yet? Maybe that one. Here comes one of my favorites. We've played this, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe this will work, though. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. You mean equally good? Yeah, not Ponty. He's... Not Ponty. Right. So, between grilling spree and chalupa cobras. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Time to turn the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Hey, 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 this is Fretman Bunker. We got some garlic bread and a note to call this number. <laughs> yes. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this is such a Goose prank. No, this is Forrest Nash. Post up. Uh, uh, sure thing, Goose. 
Listen, I need you to... Goose, come get beer. Your brothers are waiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? Oh, let me get a second opinion on this. Norman the Barbarian! What do you think? <laughs> Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control the So, play us the flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, Radio Man. You got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just... Say no more. Plunker's moving the house. Forrest, line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16, The Scream. Forrest, it's the killer. He's at the door. Please. Oh, my God. It's, it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. <laughs> I could use a drink. Thank you, Forrest. You're welcome, Virginia. And thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. Hey, Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Yeah, you know what she that's, meant? that's weird. There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but your guess is as good as mine. Bob's All right, a pretty folks. common name, I'm pretty Seems sure. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Oh shit, really? Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest. Nash. This game's so it's fun. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. Who's this? As a local small business owner, oh, God. I find this all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone <laughs> in Gallows <laughs> Creek. So, uh, like, How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. Oh, what small business do you own? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, oh, God. since you ask, it's Ponty's Pizza! No, the best disconnect. The place in town! Disconnect Come this bitch. Come on down I get yourself a cracking deal on our two-for-one... God damn it, Ponty, no! No free ads! Uh, I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Calling Ponty's did but save Ponty. Virginia. I can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just... Uh, I can be mad. Mm -hmm. Look, he's uh... gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. Yeah. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream, and tonight's 911 stand-in. Hi. Hello. Am I on air? You sure are, caller. What's your name? Eugene. And what have you got yeah. for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein, and ah. I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show, looking up at the stars and waiting for her. You got a special lady coming out to see oh, you. Oh, no. Yeah. Molly. And my dog's name, Molly. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. That sounds Take like our I'm... first That's journey together true, but into whatever. the love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. 
Should I call her up and ask if she's coming, or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Oh. I I'm just gonna say go home to your parents, dog. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. But, uh... Oh, oh now I feel bad. Yeah. I guess it's not the night. Hang on! I hear some rustling. <laughs> I guess she came after all. Molly! I'm in the middle! You're gonna die. It'll take a little while to get here, but uh... Thanks again, Forrest. It's been good talking. Oh, wait a second. Molly can't whistle. Yeah, cause that's not Molly. No, man. no! This is supposed to be the best night of my life! Not the worst. Stay calm, Eugene. We'll get you out of this. Carm! I'm about to die a virgin! Listen, Eugene. Breathe. Hide. Fucking and call yes. Back I in love it. We'll I love this out. man. I, I can't let you die. I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. I think I saw a map somewhere. I think it was well, downstairs. Listeners. Or was in well, the Peggy fucking and I office. Deliberate. Here's a track for all you lovers out there. Yeah, whatever, I'll just How play the hell that. am I supposed to get him through the maze maze? You know Barbara, our receptionist? She's yes, a maze maze right. fanatic. Shame she isn't here. I was supposed to it's go in her, her garbage last week, can. but she changed her mind. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I saw the map downstairs. Go and see what you can find. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Uh. Forrest, I've Jesus. seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. The receptionist. She's the receptionist. Let me go. Sits at reception. I can't leave prematurely. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. I the bells? audio moves. Right. It's come yeah. from the Sorry, speaker. I guess it's just the stress of. No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Okay, fuck you too, bitch. Don't be like an ass. I'm a famous musician. I cannot remember such Biddleton's names. That seems like something Forrest would say, honestly. Um, yeah, we uh, we found that map in her garbage can earlier. Never mind. Uh, yeah, it's Bingo. here now. Here's what I was looking for. So it shows... I guess the order you have to go to... Get the fuck out. Um, oh wait, no, it's it's coded. I see how it's coded now. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze yep. in the trash. Why was it in the trash? Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter right now. That's a question for Barbara later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. I lost Forrest. I just ran and I, I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad. Shit, he's at one. I see where he's at. Statue. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Okay, so he's facing this way. He needs to go... Honestly, don't know where the fuck to go. Left. I think he needs to go left. Yeah, go left. Go left. Okay, so he's set four. I have a big statue in front of me and a creepy uh, rocking horse on my left. So he needs to go backwards. Go backwards. Oh, God. Why didn't I just invite her over? Oh. I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? Left. Go, go left. left. Go left. Oh, this wasn't 
I think I know where he's going to spawn or go next. He's gonna get out of this. I, I'm. I, There's a tiny barn in front of me, and a scarecrow behind me. Nothing to my sides. Look, he's facing the barn. He needs to go right. Go right. I can't run much more. I just passed a cordon silo. Didn't see anything else. Please. Where do I go? So let's say he's here. I I I don't I don't know. Go forward. Go forward. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Here I go. It's yeah, cause... Uh, oh, shit. Doesn't look right. Uh, no, no, I I'm going back to where I was. Jesus! Oh, shit! He's cutting through the walls! Where do I go? Uh, go left. Go I, left. I don't know. I don't... Okay! I, I don't fucking I'm know. Going. This is bullshit. I don't like this. What the fuck, bro? Poor kid. I mean, he shouldn't have been out, but still. Fucking idiot. Why would someone dude? do that to a kid? By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? She's probably fucking Unfortunately dead. for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Yeah, that is bullshit, dude. Like. I don't think there was any way to save him. Like, what the fuck? I told Thank him the right way. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious oh, Clives. Remember, so... report a Clive to stay alive. Next caller That's is two. up, Forrest, so take it away. Two fucking people. Caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Thank you. That's really wonderful of you to say. What's your name, caller? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. All right, folks. Oh. Coming up is that Where old classic. Is it? Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're going to find that song. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but, uh, we don't have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the trash? No, I... Uh, I threw it out the window oh earlier today. Oh my god. Why? Uh, and why Fucking did you throw it out the idiot. window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. So, I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, I'm but I can only take outside. so much. I'm gonna get fucking killed. Alright. So, uh, what do we do instead then? Let's just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Could play that one again. Yeah. I know him. You love him. This is Roddy Snatcher with his new single, Final Breath. Of all the songs to request, why'd it have to be that one gee peggy what did the barn finds ever do to you wrote that song for one it gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat oh. for years <sighs> why couldn't they just request roddy oh forrest scrap the song we have another caller okay 
Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nat. Forrest. It's Murphy. Oh, my God. Murphy. It's me again. Oh, Murphy. Murphy. Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? He cut off his arms and his penis a bit. No. Uh, Why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? I warned you not to. Hindsight is 2020, okay? Forrest, we need to do something. Goddamn waste of me. You came for the gallows waste disposal plan. Beat on me, man. Carry me inside and lock me in a dumpster. I got a flashlight, but... Oh. Oh, goddamn. I smell smoke. Oh, shit. I think he started a fire. Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now, or I'm gonna die. Yeah. Hey, get the fire department on the line. On it. All right. Now just come on, pick up. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. What do you mean it's not operational? Why is there no backup vehicle? Oh God. He, oh God damn it. Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. You only can't have do one? Anything. But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. Yeah, this is too much. He's old. Really old. Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. Um. Alex lives on the corner of Haddon. Where's Haddon? There ain't no time limit, so, uh. Fuck, man, I don't know this map. Fuck off here. Oh shit, yet yeah, that Oh there's the sheriff's office. So yeah, right there. Haddonfield and what road? Romero Street. So he lives here. Catherine lives on at the west end of Myers Lane. Uh, is there, so I'm assuming that's the west, uh, Myers Lane. Shit, where is Myers, okay, so she lives here. Okay, the old man lives out on the east side, never, oh wait, shit, I, he, she lives here, he lives here, the old man. The fire department get more fire engines. So the fire department is here. So I'm thinking Alex. Alex might, oh wait, uh, what's this? Rogers Avenue. Where's Rogers Avenue? So residents will be unable to access connecting roads between Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield Road. So the connecting between them Where's Rogers? Rogers Avenue. Where is that? That is nowhere to be found. Yeah, no Rogers Avenue exists on this map. So, shit, I'm gonna say Alex. Alright, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Alex? Call Alex. All right, give me a second. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. Yeah. Forrest, I'm getting a call.
Are you sure you can't? What? My God, What's bro. Peggy? Alex was too far away, too slow. The plant burned down. It collapsed. Oh my God! So How? Is... Right Poor there, man, bro. He crushed. lived right fucking there. That is stupid, dude. He lives right there and can't get, couldn't get there in time. That's ridiculous. Because it says the connecting road between Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield isn't able. Rogers Avenue is not on uh, this road. This road. So he couldn't get on this road. And he was on this road. I'm confused as fuck right now. How does that make any sense? Because Haddonfield's here. You can't get on this road. So... So you're not able to get on McCready Street. You didn't have to. Should have just stayed on Haddingfield Road. So yeah, that was not my fault. His father died a hero. He was just trying yeah. to protect the town. That's actually pretty nice, Our Forrest. Our friends, bl uh, hand blood's on his hands. Murphy, For some reason, he doesn't know I how to drive. I promise we will stop this. Like a dumbass. For you and for Fernando. What a Peggy. dumb ass, bro. That's so it's going to be that pisses Forrest, me off. Forrest, we have another caller. Let's not waste time. So everybody has gotten killed so far because none of this shit makes sense. All right, folks. Another of our good citizens is on the line. Let's see what they have to say. Welcome to 189.16, The Stream, with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. here. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers Hang up. are with my Gallows Creek neighbors during this awful time. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallus. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Okay, Teddy. We... I know. You're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Jackass. Uh, right. Thanks, Teddy. Now, are you... Teddy, you lowlife. This is not the time to promote your damn campaign. I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. That's why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my father... Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200. Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. You know what? I do have a problem. A problem that's ruining our town. You know what it is? I didn't ask about a problem. I said emergency. The problem is that woman, our current mayor, Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and- You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it- Your producer sounds a little unstable, too. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee off, this dude. kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of... And that's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Just play an ad for us? I need a minute. We'll be right back after these messages. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then, step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. 
you will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator. The discipline of the tarantula. The speed of the tuna. The poise of the scorpion. And the wisdom of the bullfrog. Jesus Christ. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. Never forget the element of surprise! If you buy today, you'll receive two additional VHS tapes, the Tornado Technique and Karate Love Making. Call today! Okay, fuck Master Robbie, Jesus, dude. you know, after what happened with Murphy, I think... Yeah, we should take that out of rotation. <sighs> you know what? Kind of a shame, though. It is pretty fun. Yeah, I bet karate love making sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. Apologies, folks. We must have left that tape in rotation by accident. I think it's fair to say that's one deal you can skip. But what you can't skip is what our next caller has to say. Caller on line one. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Uh, hello. Caller. Who is this? I'm Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. That's him. He's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it! She's just a kid. Oh, uh, where are you? Are are you somewhere safe? Oh my god! Oh my god! You stay with me, kid. Focus. <laughs> Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? Carrie. Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there, all right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. Upstairs. I'm at the end of a hall. There's, there's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms, a closet. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? Uh, go to the bedroom. Go to the bedroom. Okay, I'll. He's here. He's here. He's gonna kill me. Forrest. I don't think we can... Don't move! God damn it, I get my shit, man. Okay, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, you piece of oh, shit. Who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? It's just a joke, jeez. Wait, isn't that... Jimmy, that wasn't funny, you sicko! Of course I called the cops, but, but some guy just answered instead. What guy? Forrest Nash. What the hell are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. Just having fun. Motherfucker. That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. You know he's really out there tonight, Jimmy, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's just whistling night, man. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid. 
stupid since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's, uh... Holy fuck, that's him! Uh, wait. Oh, no. Who, uh... Who are you? <laughs> oh, no, Seth! <laughs> Time, but not much. No. Forrest, we have to. Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house and. Oh, of course! The van! Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy's dead. <gasps> God damn it. Okay, okay. It's gonna be okay, Carrie. Right. Right. We'll figure something Not out. Noir. Between all of you, there's gotta be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. Hold on. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in. Force, listen. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with, and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... And... No, no, Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. Everything okay? No. We... Uh, we're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things they're just bad at. I think we can figure out what to do. But I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker, or else these idiots are gonna get us killed. But I... Shut up, you... Ugh. Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. Oh, God. Ugh. These damn kids never learn. Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. Ugh. They do this kind of thing Fucking every I... year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right. <clears throat> Folks, we're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> and I think this is a good spot as any to end the video off right here at a cliffhanger. So I know you ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what I was trying to do there, will tune in next time to see the conclusion of Carrie and her friends and possibly the conclusion of this game. Did not expect this to now... Have three parts at least it could have four maybe five i don't know how long this game is but make sure to like subscribe comment down below make sure to hit the bell too when you subscribe so you get notified whenever i post but i will see you guys next time and bye